Sketch together. Hey, hello guys. On this uh, tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a really quickly model animation on Flinto. So uh, as you can see here, there are two screens and we want to have a floating model that appears on the top. So it will look something like this. Let's look at it. So you press on it and then the model comes from the bottom and then you close it and then boing, 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 boing. So that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and create it. Let's, uh, I'm going to close this. I'm going to go here on Sketch. And on Sketch, you're going to see, uh, you, you'll be able to find the resources file on uh, on the link below, on the description. So you'll be able to open this so, so you can practice yourself. So here, uh, really quickly, there's an article. There's also uh, some scrollable part. And then there's a big button that is for sharing that is going to bring this model. On the other screen, we see that uh, it's the same content as the first one with the article. The only difference is that there's a, there's a close button. Uh, and it's also the model is there and there's also an overlay Those are the three different things that you see close model and overlay and then the rest is pretty much the same as before uh, as the first uh, screen so We got it. Everything's good And now I'm, the first thing that I'm going to do is send to Flinto over here I go to the to the plugins Hopefully you have this installed and just send to Flinto and then automatically it text at the scale and the device size I want to send it and over here in Flinto it appears uh, it looks like it's pretty much the same. Uh, I see here that all of my uh, different uh, layers are there. The article, they grouped it into one single uh, layer. The pick is there, the button, and the same over here, but just the other uh, things that we can edit. So the first thing that I want to do is add a gesture to this button. So I'm going to add a gesture. I'm going to say tap, and the target is going to be the second screen, which is called modal, and I'm going to create a new transition. You could probably put use one of the default ones that are here, fit in, push left, uh, but let's create a new one. And the first thing that I want to do is uh, on the start screen, I want to put the end screen on the start. It starts in the same position because it has, it all happens on the same place. The image is there, the text is there. The only things that actually change are the overlay and the uh, close button and the uh, modal. So, on the start, I start like this, but I'm going to change the opacity of it. So I'm going to change from the start the opacity of the overlay to zero, then the opacity of the close button to zero too. And probably I'm going to even do something funky and I'm going to say that it's coming from the left. And I'm going to do the same with this. I'm going to probably change the opacity also to zero and I'm going to put it all the way to the bottom. That way it starts from the bottom and then it ends on the middle. There you go. So automatically it adjusts uh, at the end. And so it's there and I'm going to do something funny with it. Probably uh, make it a little bit smaller. That way it looks like it grows. And I, we could even make it a 3D animation where probably uh, the X rotates a little bit. Let's see how it rotates. Let's put a negative uh, value and see how it looks. So it starts and then it goes. Also, I want to the article on the start. I want it to be um, the button, I want it to be, it starts from 100 and then the button at the end ends in 0%. There you go. So it's pretty, uh, I want to have a, add a little bit of bounciness. I'm going to select it and select the uh, model and I'm going to here on the spring values, I'm going to uh, remove a little, give it a little bit of uh, friction and less friction and less tension and see let's see how it looks and less tension let's see i don't know if it's more or less that creates it as lower i think it's less <laughs> it's probably not exactly what we want it's too slow so you, you play around with this and you find the right uh, amount of uh, these values that you want to play you want it to have something like that i think that's good it's good for now let's see that's perfect, and now we can preview it on, on the actual uh, phone. Uh, and then and now we see that we haven't added a close button. The Our animation ends there, so that's the next step. So the first thing, I'm going to save this, and I'm going to add uh, uh, another gesture, another gesture here for the close button. But I'm not going to do it only for the close button. I'm going to actually draw a link, because I want it to be able to press in anywhere here that will take you back. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to select draw link and I'm going to draw a link around here. I'm going to select the first screen 
it's a tap, and then I'm going to reuse the same animation. Let's press done, and then the transition is going to be reversed. There you go, I press there, and then let's preview it. So it goes there, and then it reverses. A quicker way to do this is also, instead of uh, having a transition, the target, it could have been a back link. And that way, it will create a transition of whatever, uh, it, however, uh, take took you to that screen. You press there, and it will reverse the same uh, transition that took you there, and let's preview it. So, press this, press, and it pretty much creates the same transition, but in, on, on the other way around, and it goes back to the first screen. So yeah, that's it. It's pretty easy. Uh, just creating uh, gestures between the screens and then adding the transitions. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.